President Donald Trump is refusing to back down on his tariffs against U.S. allies, complaining the European Union is as bad as China, just smaller Trump and U.S. allies have been at war since the administration raised the tariffs on imports of steel, aluminum and other products from the China, the European Union Canada, and Mexico He also stated he loved the EU and the countries that form it, reminding people his parents were from there Trump's mother was born in Scotland, his father was born in New York, but his paternal grandfather was born in Germany Now we all sort of love the European Union, you know I was there many many years ago, meaning my parents were born in the European Union, he said And I love those counties, he added. Germany and all of the countries, Scotland you know you have Scotland, they're still in there, they're still hanging in there right? Let's see what happens with Brexit, but they treat us very badly They treat us very unfairly. The president has hammered U.S. allies for their treatment of American goods, claiming the U. S. is on the bad end of trade deals. And he's headed to Europe himself. Trump goes to Brussels for a NATO summit on July 11 and from there on to London and then Scotland. He wraps up his trip with a summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Helsinki, Finland, on July 16 The president also repeated his argument that the US has some of the worst trade deals in the world We lose money with everybody. He also claimed that the tariffs will work out and foreign leaders are working with the White House to make that happen Share this article share every country is calling every day, saying, let's make a deal, let's make a deal It's going to all work out, he said. Meanwhile, the European Commission has warned the United States that imposing tariffs on European cars will be harmful first and foremost for the US economy, Politico reported The news site obtained an 11-page document that was part of a U.S. request for a response on the issue Its internal analysis shows that an additional import tariff of 25% applied to automobiles and automotive parts would in first instance have a negative impact on U.S. GDP in the order of 13-14 billion United States dollars and the current account balance of the U.S. would be not affected positively Trump threatened to hit imports of European cars with a 20% tariff if Brussels doesn't remove tariffs and other trade barriers in an escalating row European car makers produce 2.9 million vehicles, or 26% of American car production, in the U S last year, according to the document.In the meanwhile Canada hit back at the United States on Friday with retaliatory tariffs on American summertime essentials such as Florida orange juice, ketchup, and Kentucky bourbon Mexico hit the U.S. with tariffs on pork, apples, potatoes, bourbon as well as different types of cheese And the EU plans to impose $3.3 billion in retaliatory tariffs on the US in July Products hit will include denim, orange juice, bourbon, motorcycles, peanut butter, motorboats and cigarettes, 